Hey there, it's Danielle Ford and I'm making this video because I want to give you guys a peek into my ClickFunnels account and show you exactly how I set up my sales funnels and then we're going to walk through creating um, a sales funnel so I can show you how easy it is. So let me give you a little bit of background. I was using Entreport. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but I was using it for almost a year probably and it was extremely difficult for me. There were so many different integrations. It didn't like to integrate with other things. I had to use all sorts of other software. So along with using Entreport, which was $300 a month, I was also using uh, EasyWebinar to host uh, live and automated webinars. I was using, and that, that is, I think it was 400 a year. And then I was using lead pages, uh, which I love lead pages, but it's just a you know a lead capture software. And Entreport offered that kind of software, but it was extremely confusing and it just wasn't very intuitive. And there were a lot of things that I couldn't do on my website with it. So I was still using lead pages for about seventy dollars a month, and I was also using Zippy Courses, which is a really good uh, course platform, and it's only about a hundred dollars a year. So that's where I was hosting my courses, but um, I was using Entreport alongside all of these other systems and the integration of them and trying to get them to communicate with each other all the time was extremely frustrating. So I decided to switch over to ClickFunnels after doing a ton of research into all of my options and when I first heard about ClickFunnels and saw how it worked, I thought like it looked too good to be true and it really it's not. It's just amazing. It seriously has been my, my dream come true. I'm obsessed with it. So um, I'm going to now uh, click over to my, my account and show you guys how it works. Also, if you want to check it out, click the link below. It is my affiliate link, but it will get you two weeks free uh, for ClickFunnels on either version that you want. Check it out, watch the video on that link. It'll explain more about it there and your options for pricing and whatnot. But if you want to use a simple version of it for lead capture and you wanna integrate it with your email system, you can do that option. Or you could do the full suite like I do, which is 300 a month. But you could try the entire thing for free for 14 days and even set up um, a new course or a new product, something to sell, which I've told my clients to to start there. You know, do the 14 day free trial. Follow the the step by step video tutorials, and if you're unable to at least make your $300 a month back from it, cancel it. You know, um, but learning these these funnels, you should be able to make that back, no problem. Okay, so let's jump over there. Okay, so this is the back end of my account. I've only had ClickFunnels a short amount of time, but I've been, I've just thrown myself super into it. I've gone through all the tutorials. I purchased the advanced um, membership training and I've learned a ton about it and got all sorts of things set up. But just to give you a quick overview of how everything works, I really wanna focus on um, opt-in lead capture funnels right now. But here is where your funnels are hosted and Actionetics is the email system, email management uh, system. This actually integrates with SendGrid. So SendGrid starts at about $10 a month uh, to send a lot of emails. That's really all you need to get started. $10 a month and that gets your emails delivered and it has amazing deliverability so that your emails don't go into junk folders. And I've had people that have been on my list a long time now start getting my emails again because it's getting sent with SendGrid. Backpack is where you can actually set up your own affiliate program. So I've been doing that and it's it's awesome. I love it because the, um, the dashboard is super customizable. So you can make it look amazing and add training videos and add really cool resources. I'll probably do another video about that later, but I wanna focus on funnels. So um, those are that's kind of what comes with a full suite. Okay, um, I'm going to show you an example of my latest funnel. Um, 
This is for a live event, so it is a sales funnel. Uh, there actually is no opt-in. It starts with a sales page, so I, I removed the first page of that. But the way that it works is all of your pages are here. I haven't integrated this yet. But all of the pages are here, and it's so easy to edit and customize with Entrepore and other programs I've used. It's been like, you have to go to this area to make a form, then you have to link it over to this page, and then you have to tell it to do this. And then it's just crazy pants, right? So I just love that it lays it all out. And I'm gonna show you in a second when we create a new funnel, how these, are, these already come standard, and all you have to do is fill in the blanks, which is awesome, okay? So I'm not gonna edit this page too much, but I'll just show you like how easy this was to make. I put this page up in like two hours, and that was mostly like the thought process of it. You know, um, the actual implementing the things is so easy. And actually you can duplicate, you can duplicate your entire funnel or just a page as a template. And anytime you have another live event or you have something similar, you just uh, copy it and edit it to be whatever it is you need. So this is my um, just a workshop I'm doing here in Las Vegas next month. But look at this. It's all drag and drop. So you, choose, you do sections. This is a section. This is a section. There's all these elements. And if I wanted to you know, edit this right here, you just go here and you, you change the text around, right? If I wanted to uh, edit anything right over here, I can click on this. I can change the text color. If I wanted it black, you know, I could do that. Make it white. If I want to change things around, um, I could, you can, you can move things around however you want to. There's, you can go in here and um, change images. So you click over here. Uh, you could go and choose whatever image you want to. Um, it's super easy to just edit things. Like, super easy if I wanted borders, if I wanted, uh, if I wanted this clickable, you know, I could put a link URL so that when it, you click on it, it would go there. You could change the height, the width, everything. Um, these are also mobile responsive. I love that it comes with all this stuff. So create at least, you know, frequently asked question blocks. And when you go here to add something, it's like, what do you want to add? Social share buttons, a headline, a divider, drop down. Do you want to do an in input form, a video, an image? a button, um, then there's more and more. You can do frequently asked questions block. So, okay, I'll do another one of those. Go add to page. It comes totally preloaded. You just edit it, just edit that. It's on your website. Like it's so, so uh, super easy to to use. Um, let me delete that. Let me delete it when it's orange. Go over here, boom, okay. Yep, so I don't think I made any big changes, uh, so I'm just going to exit. But then, um, yeah, I'll just, I, I can preview it, you can exit, um, going to leave. And then, you know, you can do an order form, um, order confirmation. It's just, it's all set there. So, okay, um, let's go back over here to funnels. So I have like all sorts of different funnels. I've been playing with different things and doing stuff with webinars and whatnot. But let's pretend we're gonna set up a completely new one, right? You go here to add new funnel and you go, what do I wanna do? Um, I think I want to collect emails or do I wanna sell my product? Do I wanna host a webinar? Well, for the sake of collecting emails, we'll go here because that's the first step obviously. So I can name this just a test one. And you can do a tag if you want. I'll just say test. Um, put that tag there. And then you go, this is actually, you know, I think I'm gonna choose a sales one. Um, this is a two-step two process. It's super easy to start collecting emails. But for the sake of showing you guys um, how cool it is to be able to sell a product and how it fills the steps, right? So if I wanna do a sales funnel, um, then it would preload it. If I wanted to launch a product with a series of pages, it would preload it. If I want to do a membership, it, oh, and did I mention that it actually hosts courses? It hosts all of your courses in here, which is like ridiculous. Um, 
But if you want to start a membership and put a price on it, you go there. But let's pretend that there's like a product or something. So choose or maybe a live event or whatever. Uh, test, test. It's, then it tells you here's the pages you're going to get. Build a funnel. So takes a second. There, 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 there. Um, but when it comes up, I will show you. Here it is. All of the different options. You can see that I already have a few templates um, already created there. And you can go here and think, what is the best? So for my one I just showed you, because I started with the sales page, um, I deleted this. So you can always delete any pages that you don't need. And you can add pages if you want to throw in a different page in there for whatever reason. Um, but you always usually want to start with a squeeze page and collect an email address and then send them to a thank you page or a sales page. Um, or you could do like a, a tripwire, meaning as soon as they um, as soon as they sign up, it offers them something to purchase as an upsell. Uh, then it would take them to an order form. You could even do another upsell. There's just a lot of different things that you could do. So let's take one of the ones that I didn't make. And let's just say you're giving away like an ebook or something, okay? So select this template. It's going to load it. And when you go to edit it, in a second, all right, it's just like that other page I showed you. And you can change the picture here. If you have right here, I think I have my seven steps in here somewhere. This is from a young mom's club. Um, whatever picture you're using. Um, Oh, there it is. Okay, so if I want to say, get this one for free, you know, I could put that there. I can change the size or whatever. You could change your description, say, download this book free, whatever. Um, you could change the, the size if you wanted to make it humongous or whatever. Then you could just go up here and keep making it bigger. Uh, change the button color, whatever you want to do. I like, I happen to like pink, but... Uh, do whatever you want. You can then, if you you know want to talk about your book, add more, take anything away. If you're like, I don't really have testimonials yet, I don't really want to do this piece, then you can just delete this whole row. You could always add an entire section. Maybe you want to do two columns with like pictures or something. Then you add that. You can add your elements and do um, you know a photo there, and add an element and do a photo there. Maybe I want to just put like I don't know. Um, a picture of that sure and then a picture of a fee i don't know why but there you go um so whatever you want to do any links you want to add it's super 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 customizable you actually can create an entire website with quick funnels and i have made a few uh sidebar i have I can make websites myself. I can build them on WordPress and I'm currently having somebody else create my new website on WordPress. Um, because it's, for me, I'm really into SEO and it's important to have a WordPress website that ranks in, um, in Google, but these do have SEO options. It's just, um, these are more like flash websites. So right now, while my website is being created, I made my website on ClickFunnels. This is a ClickFunnels page. And I just put it as the main page on my website for now. Um, these are all ClickFunnels pages. They open up new landing pages. So these are all separate funnels. This is a webinar that we hosted um, a long time ago. This is a, another webinar. You know, these are all, these all start the beginning of a funnel um, for each different thing. And this one is actually its own website. So I created a whole other website for my challenge and put all of the pages. So after you join the funnel and it sends you uh, every day and it sends you advanced trainings and it sends an option for a webinar, um, this is all hosted over on this link so that I could remove that from my Danielle4.com website. So ClickFunnels is pretty badass <laughs> is the moral of my story. And if you want to check it out, you, you want to check it out and then immediately watch the three trainings that is right on the front page. They're all under like 10 minutes and they're so explanatory that you will be able to 
grow together your first funnel really quickly. So yeah, that is um, my little little lesson for you today. If you guys uh, enjoyed this, let me know. If you have uh, more questions, put them in the comments. And yeah, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to check out ClickFunnels if um, you are ready to sell shit online. If you're already selling it and you're just not happy with your email system or you want to have the full suite and you want to have courses and membership options and do webinars and do all of it, affiliate programs, then I just highly suggest doing it all in one place, you know? So yeah, that's all. Talk to you later. Bye.